Courage is not the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Did you know that courage and fear cannot occupy the same space at the same time? Think about fear as being a dark room. You can't see anything. There's no way out. But as soon as you turn on a flashlight, light a candle or a match, or turn on the light, which is courage, then you're able to see clearly the next step. So clarity has a lot to do with our ability to overcome fear. So how do we do that? I want to give you a couple of quick tips today to help you boost your courage and have more confidence and move in the direction that you want. The first thing that I recommend to my clients is to make sure they're tuning into the fear. Often we allow the fear to override whatever's taking place in our life. In fact, if you think about it, when we have a reaction, a fearful reaction, it produces so many chemicals in the brain and the brain is trying to figure out, am I really in danger? And sometimes you may be in danger, but most of the time you're not. So we need to stop that flood of chemistry that's going on in our body. And how do we do that? Well, simply by tuning into your body and feeling where that fear is, you will offset what's taking place in your brain. So you can do this by taking a couple of deep breaths, simply tune into your body wherever you're locating that fear and giving it your full attention. By giving it your full attention, you're validating, yes, I'm feeling something right now, instead of discounting like we often do. And by giving it that validation, we're giving it permission to be felt. And if you continue to focus on it by staying out of your brain, staying out of that monkey mind and just focusing on what you feel in your body, you'll be able to resolve whatever that is. Just stay present with it. It may take a few moments. It may take longer than that. By being mindful about what we feel, we actually start changing the chemistry of our body. Another way that you can help override those fears is to meditate. Meditate will change your brain chemistry and your body chemistry and help you deal with stressful situations in a more productive fashion. And lastly, name your fear. By naming your fear, you literally take the wind out of its sails. It loses its power. It's been called out and you're able to actually resolve it that much faster. And if you feel inspired, talk with somebody that you trust, a partner, a friend, let them know what your fear is. Even by talking about it, you can get that fear to literally shrink away. By facing your fears head on, you're able to have the courage and the confidence to actually move towards your goals and dreams instead of allowing that fear to create some sort of block in your life. I hope this helps you in boosting your courage and in overcoming your fear. I'm Jana Groskost. I look forward to seeing you soon.